Welcome back to Excel 2010 for Beginners, brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. This is Lesson 2 of 12. If you landed on this lesson first, you can click on the link in the video window above to start back at the beginning. In Lesson 2, you'll learn about the ribbon, including ribbon tabs, groups, commands, and the dialog box launchers. Sprawled out across the top of the window is this big thing called the ribbon. The ribbon is Microsoft's new menuing system that was introduced with Office 2007. The ribbon makes it much easier to find commonly used commands than previous versions of Microsoft Office did. The ribbon is dynamic and will change based on which task or function you're performing. Commands on the ribbon are grouped into different tabs. Here's Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review, and View. I'll go back to the Home tab, which has most of the commonly used functions on it. The ribbon may change based on what you're doing. For example, if I insert a picture into my spreadsheet, you'll see the Picture Tools Format tab appears. This tab has different functions on it for working with pictures, such as color, corrections, artistic effects, and so on. We'll talk a lot more about inserting pictures and other objects into your spreadsheets in a future lesson. But for now, I just want you to see how the ribbon may change based on what you're doing. Now the commands on each tab are further broken up into groups. For example, on the Home tab, you'll see a clipboard group, a font group, an alignment group, a number group, a styles group, and so on. There are many different groups on each tab. This is so that all of the related functions are grouped together. For example, in the font group, you'll see different options for working with the font, changing the font type, the size, bold, italics, and underline, and lots more. And remember, the buttons that you see in your groups might be slightly different than what you see in my groups. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of Lesson 1, there are lots and lots of different buttons in Excel. Don't worry about memorizing what all of them do. We'll learn a bunch of them today, and we'll learn more as we go on in our more advanced lessons. If you can't remember what a specific button does, just hover your mouse over it. Don't click, just hold the mouse there. You'll see a little tooltip pop up explaining what that button does. For example, you can see here, that's the bold button. If I move over here and just hover there, you'll see it says align text left. You'll get tooltips for most of the buttons on the ribbon. Some of the buttons may offer more help. For example, if I hover over this button, you'll see it says font color, change the text color, Press F1 for more help. That's the F1 button on your keyboard. If you press that, it will launch the Excel help system. We'll cover the help system in more detail in a future lesson. Most of the commands on the ribbon are simple push buttons. For example, if I want to bold the sample text, I'll just click on the bold button, and that turns bold on. You can see the text has gotten thicker. It's now bold. The bold button will stay on until I turn it off. To turn it off, just click on it a second time. That's called a toggle button. You toggle it on or off. Italics is the same way, on or off. Some of the commands are in button groups, and you can select one of the options in that group. For example, I can align left or center or align right. Those three buttons are all part of a group. I'll go back to align left. Some of the commands are pull down menus. For example, if I want to change the font size, I can click this down arrow right here to pull down that menu. Then I can select a different size. And notice just by hovering over the number, I can see a live preview of the change in the background before I commit to it. When I find a size that I like, I simply click, and that sets the font size. 
some of the command buttons actually have little command button groups next to them. Notice underline, for example. I can click on the U button for a simple underline. Or I can click on the down arrow next to it for underline or double underline. That's a small command button group. To turn it off, just click on the U button again. Some of the commands are grouped together into galleries. For example, on the Page Layout tab, you'll see a Themes button. If I click on the Themes button, you'll see a gallery of options appear. Themes are a collection of colors, fonts, and effects that are bundled together to give your spreadsheets a professional look and feel. We'll talk more about themes in some of our more advanced classes. Now, some of these groups have many more commands and options available than fit on the ribbon. If you look in the bottom right corner of that group, you'll see a little tiny button. That's called a dialog box launcher. And if you click on that button, a full menu or dialog box appears with lots more options. For example, that button brings up the format cells dialog box and puts you on the font tab. You can see lots more font options are available here. For now, I'll just click on the cancel button. The alignment group also has a dialog box launcher, and if you click on that, it opens up the same format cells dialog box and puts you on the alignment tab. And you can see there's lots more text alignment options available here as well. Again, I'll just close this window. We'll cover these options in our more advanced classes. For now, I just want to take you on a tour of the ribbon so you can see the different kinds of menu options that are available. Don't worry at this point about what all these different options do. We'll cover them in turn. This is the end of Lesson 2. You can click on the link above in the video window to jump to Lesson 3. Also, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when I release new free tutorials. For more information on my Excel courses, visit my website at 599cd.com slash xyt2010.